gorgeous day here in Santa Clara as we are situated at Levi's Stadium. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. And not the start he was hoping for there as he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. I call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And they work this well up field across the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass catching abilities. And if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. First and ten, it's Mostert. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Nothing here. But I tell you what, when you get a running back who can move like that in the open field, that's something to take advantage of, and they certainly did there. And there's an old chestnut of an expression called getting on your horse. And I hate to use it, but I'm going to right here because it absolutely applies. How about the head of steam he had behind him? He was absolutely galloping downfield. That was something to see. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Moster. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Raheem Mostert, 28 yards. And the 49ers drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. So they start this game just like they won. Opening drive touchdown, a nice run there to finish it off. Yeah, that's what we call an explosive run because of the distance. And being able to do that, that puts a little uncertainty in the minds of your opponent. Gold with the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. Mitch Wisnowski to kick off for San Francisco. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. Fields it in the middle of the end zone, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels. Because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. For the Packers and Niners, this, of course, a rematch of the NFC Championship game from a year ago. And that game belonged to the 49ers. You might remember Raheem Mostert. Boy, he really made a name for himself in that one. 220 yards on the ground, four touchdown runs in the 37-20 victory that sent the 49ers to Miami. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced a the third down. Blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football. Forced the dump off to the back, and even then, they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it, they did it well in that last sequence. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. 
They'll run for the first time with Jarek McKinnon. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. On running plays, linemen, of course, have their assignments. That's expected. But it's not often you're expecting to see a cornerback blitzing in run support and tackling the runner for a loss. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked off near the 42, and they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. That was just one of those interceptions from our perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line mid-level that quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to... And I think the ball's out. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Fumble on the play, recovered by the offense. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Niners seven, Packers nothing. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Incomplete. He was covered by Richard Sherman. Throwing again. Rodgers gets this to his running back, Aaron Jones. Completed the pass, but lost yardage, so they'll decline the penalty. Perfect play for them, isn't it? Who needs a penalty when you try and throw the ball? You don't even get it downfield, and they go ahead and snuff out the play. They'll take that as a result. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He's got the hook up to Lazard. And they're going to get him down well short of the first, as he can only get this to about the 19. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Makes the score, Niners 7. Now that's something of a pick-me-up, but the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Niners take over first and 10. Their own Raheem Mostert and the Niner offense getting the football back. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Now Garoppolo lost the football. And the Packers pick it up. And he will bring this one back. A fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. And give some kudos to the defensive coordinator, I think, here. They bring the blitz, they dial it up, and it turns into six points for them. It's so nice to hear you actually give kudos to the defense. It is so nice to such an offensive guy like that. I love it. He dialed things up, and boy, a big play resulted for his guys. Well, you like the credit to the defense there, right, my friend? Yeah, you do, do I ever. Crosby connects on the extra point, and the lead is now 10-7. to seven. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And that last possession, really a gut punch. You seemingly had it working. You were in the midst of a very strong drive, then suddenly the fumble, and you're watching the back of a defender's jersey as he brings it all the way in the other direction. There's not much more I can add to that. I thought you summarized it perfectly, partner. You just got to regroup and start putting another drive together. That's all you can do. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. And take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Get 
Two minutes remaining in the first half. 10-7, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Throwing on second and long. Garoppolo. And the pressure gets to him again. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And look at this, it's a fake. Oh, but this is going to backfire as it's intercepted. Kevin King with a pick. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Well, they'll get the yardage, but they hate to see him take go. that hit. You're always trying to cool off a big-time guy throwing the ball, but you have to know when to back off, pull up, and not hit him. There's the penalty. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. That's complete to Lazard, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Now the Packers are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Rodgers now on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first, this one from 38. 13-year man puts it through, and the lead stretches to six here. It's 13-7. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. And up 
up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. set to get this drive underway inside of a minute left in the half does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or I guess don't do on this final drive it certainly does but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him can he make a play can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball if that's the case I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out and right back to Kittle. This time he's got it. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A play fake for Mostert. Now Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he's got the first down here and then some, but a penalty flag down. This could very well be coming back. Well, they've already allowed three sacks in this first half. Now a holding penalty. So I think drastic measures had to be taken, right? The regular way was not working. He was getting hit almost every snap it felt like. They had to try and keep him upright. up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Garoppolo now. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And we do talk a lot about the tight end position has changed in the NFL. Here's a great example. It used to be that they were linemen who occasionally caught passes. Now they're wide receivers who occasionally block people. And right here, this isn't tight end speed. It's definitely wide receiver speed. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. Incomplete. It's now second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. shot here before half. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And this will make it into the end zone. And the half will begin with a touchback. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. That's a play that could be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Now a first down carry by Jones. And not 
unable to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield strike. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. From midfield, here's Rodgers. And that will be incomplete. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed. Always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. At their own 12-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. You see he's shaking the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Screenplay, McKenna. And they'll get him down right around the 11-yard line. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return, and it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag, punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. And San Francisco gets set to go here. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. They'll start on the ground with Moster. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. The last run got six. Now second and four. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And that one got tipped. Kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs, and sometimes you can be a little too quick. Thus, inaccurate, incomplete. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Oh, a design run for their wide out. He's got a first down past the 30. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. 
so there, Charles, I mean, a situation where it didn't matter how far he had to run, he was not going to be denied, and he winds up taking this all the way to the end zone. And how about the situation that we're in right now, because this is the fourth quarter, so you know there's some tired legs out there on defense, and probably some tired minds as well trying to chase guys around for four quarters but this is where conditioning athleticism that separates the good backs from the great backs and that was an a plus effort right there and he covered a lot of ground on that one as evidenced by the final total there on next gen stats so how about that for a chain mover they're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. here's a toss play right to moster as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Well, here comes Ayuk on the jet sweep. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49 touchdown. Taking it in for seven yards away. And the Niners are a point away from leading this game. Well, we've talked about it before. You know, this jet sweep, something a lot of teams like to run nowadays, and this one winds up in the end zone. And it is all about creating different ways to get the ball in the hands of your playmakers. And wasn't it interesting that prior to this game, the head coach told us, I saw this sitting in my chair watching a Tuesday night college game and decided to implement it myself. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Less than two minutes to play. Down to the wire we go in a one-point game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And he can't get it thrown away. He's taken down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. So the defense helping them out a little bit here late in the fourth. Yeah, and you're exactly right. And when you're the one doing the chasing, You'll take a little help from the other guys, won't you? They'll look to throw. Caught on the right side by Adams. Give him six on the play, and it'll make it a second down. He'll look to throw. That's caught. It's Robert Tanya, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. Seven yards there and a first down. The play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. Now a desperation throw deep. Oh, wide open. Complete. And he's across for the touchdown. And in the final minute, that should just about seal it. 
Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. So trying to throw it in for two points, but the D got home, brought him down. They yeah, got home, which means there had to be good coverage. Just had nowhere to go with the ball. Typically, you try and throw quick hitters, quick slants, you know, maybe even a quick fade. Nothing was open. He ends up getting saved. So, Jimmy Garoppolo and the offense down by five. A little under 50 seconds to go. They need a touchdown. A field goal is worthless now as they come up on first and ten. To throw is Garoppolo. And he can't hang on to it. That would have sealed it. Instead, second down. Makes it second and 10 at the 21-yard line. The clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw, Garoppolo. The tight end, Kettle, has it on the left side. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Now Garoppolo. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. Incomplete, intended for Kendrick Moore. Kevin King there defensively. After the incompletion here now, third and two. He's going to let it fly. It's caught inside the 25. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. One final try now for Garoppolo. And this is going to be caught. It's caught. them the standing eight count a few times along the way and look at how this one ended yeah they had well i guess nine lives just like a cat <laughs> kept fighting and there in the end making the huge play to get the game winner i guess that's the epitome of you always have a puncher's chance so the victory here for san francisco and they were really helped by their defense forcing three turnovers i think what we saw in this one today's defense and what i mean by that is in the old days Pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. 